హాయ్ చిల్డ్రన్స్ వెరీ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవరి మ్యాన్ డే చిల్డ్రన్స్ లెట్ ఎస్ సాల్వ్ సమ్ మోర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఆన్ డాట్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఆర్ స్కేదర్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఆఫ్ టూ వెక్టర్స్ సో హే వీ హ్యావ్ ఇఫ్ ఏ బార్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫైవ్ ఐ మైనస్ జే ప్లస్ సెవెన్ కే అండ్ బి బార్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు i minus j minus lambda k find the value of lambda such that a bar plus b bar and a bar minus b bar are perpendicular to each other so we have to find the value of lambda he has given that a bar plus b bar and a bar minus b bar are perpendicular to each other that means he has given that a bar plus b bar dot a bar minus b bar is equal to zero using that condition we need to find value of lambda so first given so that is a bar is equals to 5 i minus j plus 7 k and b bar is equals to we have i minus j minus lambda k minus lambda k we need to find a a bar plus b bar therefore uh, a bar plus b bar is equal to addition of two vectors 5 plus 1 we have 6 i again so we have minus 1 minus 1 we have minus 2 j minus 2 j so 7 minus lambda that is plus 7 minus lambda of k addition of two vectors okay next we have a bar minus b bar a bar minus b bar again that is equal to so 5 minus 1 we have 4 i again so we have 4 minus 1 minus of minus 1 we have plus 1 that is we have 0 j 0 j again we have 7 minus of minus lambda that is we have 7 plus lambda of k lambda of k okay next we need to find so dot product of a bar plus b bar and a bar minus b bar so therefore that is a bar plus b bar dot a bar minus b bar again that is equal to we know how to find dot product of two vectors so that is a 6 into 4 we have 24 again 0 we have okay again next we have this in this that is 7 minus lambda of 7 plus lambda the children again 6 into 4 multiplying and adding the corresponding components so that is scalar components so 6 into 4 we have 24 minus 2 into 0 we have 0 again 7 minus lambda into 7 plus lambda okay again simplification of this that is 24 again plus 7 into 7 we have 49 49 again 7 into lambda that is plus 7 lambda again minus lambda into 7 we have minus 7 lambda again we have minus lambda into lambda lambda square lambda square again simplification we have that is 7 is 24 plus 49 we have 73 73 again plus here plus lambda and minus 7 lambda plus 7 lambda minus 7 lambda get cancelled then we have minus lambda square minus lambda square so but he has given that a bar plus b bar dot a bar minus b bar is equal to zero given their perpendicular means that is a bar plus b bar dot a bar minus b bar is equal to zero so because he has given that that a bar plus b bar and a bar minus b bar are perpendicular to each other again what is the value of this we have here that is 73 minus lambda square is equal to zero now bring bring this lambda square to rhs 
therefore 73 is equals to lambda square therefore lambda is equal to root 73 root 73 next if a bar is a unit vector and x bar minus a bar dot x bar plus a bar is equal to 8 then find magnitude of x bar here he has given that a bar is a unit vector for any vector to be a unit vector its magnitude must be equal to 1 that means magnitude of a bar is equal to 1 for any vector to be a unit vector its magnitude must be equal to what 1 therefore given that magnitude of a bar is equal to 1 again he has given that that is x bar minus a bar dot x bar plus a bar is equal to 8 apply dot product so that is we have x bar dot x bar again x bar dot a bar that is play we have plus therefore x bar dot a bar again minus a bar dot x bar minus a bar dot x bar again minus into plus becomes minus again that is a bar dot a bar a bar dot a bar that is equals to 8 so we have a property that is a bar dot a bar can be written as magnitude of a bar whole square similarly now this can be written as magnitude of x bar whole square plus so i write this as it is that is x bar dot a bar minus so this can be written as x bar dot a bar okay because so dot product of two vectors is commutative that means a bar dot a b bar is equals to b bar dot a bar okay therefore x a bar dot x bar can be written as x bar dot a bar again minus so magnitude of a bar whole square that is equal to 8 okay next so that is we have magnitude of x bar whole square so this and this get cancels minus magnitude of a bar whole square that is equals to 8 again we need to find this value therefore magnitude of x bar whole square minus we have the value of magnitude of a bar we have one what is one whole square that is one itself only that is one whole square is equals to eight again magnitude of x bar whole square minus one is equal to eight now bring this minus one to rhs therefore magnitude of x bar whole square is equals to 8 plus 1 we have 1 9 therefore magnitude of x bar is equal to root 9 again therefore magnitude of x bar is equals to 3 so this is the value next if a bar is a unit vector and x bar plus a bar dot x bar minus a bar is equal to 12 then find magnitude of x bar again he has given a bar is a unit vector it means its magnitude is equal to 1 therefore that is magnitude of a bar is equal to 1 remember whenever any vector is said to be a unit vector then its magnitude must be equal to 1 again given that is x bar plus a bar dot x bar minus a bar is equals to 12 apply dot product that is x bar dot x bar this with this that is x bar dot x bar again minus x bar dot a bar x bar dot a bar again we have plus 
a bar dot x bar that is a bar dot x bar again we have min plus into minus minus a bar dot a bar so a bar dot a bar now uh, that is equals to 12 again this can be written as so magnitude of x bar whole square minus x bar dot a bar again plus x bar dot a bar that means her turn a bar dot x bar has x bar dot a bar so i have told you that so dot product of two vectors is commutative that is a bar dot b bar can be written as b bar dot a bar therefore a bar dot x bar can be written as x bar dot a bar minus so a bar dot a bar that is magnitude of a bar whole square is equals to 12 again we have magnitude of x bar whole square this and this it cancel minus we have magnitude of a bar whole square is equals to 12 but what is the value of magnitude of a bar we have one what is one square we have one therefore that is magnitude of x bar whole square minus 1 is equals to 12 therefore magnitude of x bar whole square is equals to bring the minus 1 to rhs 12 plus 1 we have 13 therefore magnitude of x bar is equals to root 12 root sorry 13 root 13 Next, if a bar is a unit vector and x bar plus a bar dot x bar minus a bar is equal to 0, then find magnitude of x bar. Similar question. So, given magnitude of a bar is equal to 1. Again, as given x bar plus a bar dot x bar minus a bar is equal to 0 again apply dot product that means x bar dot x bar again we have minus that is x bar dot a bar again plus x bar a bar dot a bar dot x bar again plus into minus we have minus a bar dot a bar a bar dot a bar is equals to 0 again this can be written as magnitude of x bar whole square and this and this get cancels therefore we have minus magnitude of a bar whole square is equal to zero again magnitude of x bar whole square is e okay what is this value of this we have one is equals to zero again therefore magnitude of x bar whole square is equals to one bring this to rhs therefore magnitude of x bar whole square is equals to one Sorry, magnitude of uh, x bar is equal to square root of 1. What is square root of 1? We have 1. Find magnitude of a bar and magnitude of b bar if uh, a bar plus b bar dot a bar minus b bar is equal to 8 and magnitude of a bar is equal to 8 into magnitude of b bar. So, it is given we have to find magnitude of a bar and magnitude of b bar. It is given that uh, so that is. Uh, a bar plus b bar dot a bar minus b bar b bar is equals to 8 apply dot product a bar dot a bar so that is a bar dot a bar again we have minus a bar dot a bar dot b bar again plus we have b bar dot a bar so that is b bar dot a bar Again, plus into minus we have minus b bar dot b bar, b bar dot b bar. Again, that is equals to 8. So, the magnitude of a bar whole square. So, this minus a bar dot b bar plus b bar dot b bar get cancelled. We have minus b bar dot b bar. That can be written as magnitude of b bar whole square is equals to 8. But he has given the value of magnitude of a bar. What is the magnitude of a bar? He has given that 8 times magnitude of b bar. Therefore, so that is 
8 into magnitude of b bar whole square minus magnitude of b bar whole square is equal to 8 is equal to 8 again so this can be done as sir 8 square we have 64 8 square 64 into magnitude of b bar whole square minus magnitude of b bar whole square that is equal to 8 64 into magnitude of b bar whole square minus magnitude of b bar whole square we have 63 63 into magnitude of b bar whole square is equal to 8 so therefore again we have magnitude of b bar whole square is equal to we have 68 divided by 63 63 therefore that is a magnitude of b bar is equal to square root of 8 divided by 63 63 so this is the value of magnitude of b bar then we need to find a magnitude of a bar so here we have that is magnitude of a bar is equal to 8 times magnitude of b bar that is magnitude of b bar again that is equal to 8 into what is the value of magnitude of b bar we have root 8 divided by 63 60 see so this is the value of magnitude of a bar find magnitude of a bar minus b bar if two vectors a bar and b bar are such that magnitude of a bar is equal to 2 magnitude of b bar is equal to 3 and a bar dot b bar is equal to 1 so has given we have to find the value of what magnitude of a bar minus b bar therefore that is magnitude of a bar minus b bar okay so squaring on this we have magnitude of a bar minus b bar whole square again that is equal to the formula that is magnitude of a bar minus b bar whole square is equal to magnitude of a bar whole square plus magnitude of b bar whole square minus 2 of a bar dot b bar a bar dot b bar so magnitude of a bar minus b bar whole square is equal to formula magnitude of a bar whole square plus magnitude of b bar whole square minus 2 into a bar dot b bar again so now substituting values of magnitude of a bar magnitude of b bar and a bar dot b bar again that is equal to so what is the value of magnitude of a bar we have 2 what is 2 whole square we have 4 plus magnitude of b bar we have 3 3 whole square 9 minus 2 of we have a bar dot b bar that is 1 okay again that is equals to sir we have 4 plus 9 minus 2 again that is equal to so we have 4 plus 9 13 13 minus 2 we have 11 so this is the value so but we need to find what magnitude of a bar minus b bar therefore that is magnitude of a bar minus b bar is equal to square root of 11 find magnitude of a bar minus b bar if two vectors a bar and b bar are such that magnitude of a bar is equal to magnitude of b bar is equal to 3 and a bar dot b bar is equal to 4 so that is magnitude of a bar minus b bar whole square is equal to formula that is we have a formula magnitude of a bar minus b bar whole square is equal to magnitude of a bar whole square plus magnitude of b bar whole square minus 2 of a bar dot b bar now substituting the values that is equal to we have magnitude of a bar 3 sorry 2 2 whole square we have 4 plus we have magnitude of b that is 3 3 whole square we have 9 minus 2 of we have a bar dot b bar is equal to 4 right again that is equals to 4 plus 9 minus 2 into 4 we have 8 again so we have 9 minus 8 1 1 plus 4 we have 5 so therefore magnitude of a bar minus b bar is equal to root 5 root 5 
Next, if magnitude of A bar is equal to 19, magnitude of B bar is equal to 13 and magnitude of A bar plus B bar is equal to 24, then find magnitude of A bar minus B bar. So, actually we need to find this. But for this we have magnitude of that is A bar minus B bar whole square is equal to magnitude of A bar whole square plus magnitude of B bar whole square minus we have 2 of a bar dot b bar 2 of a bar dot b bar we have this value and this value but we don't know this value to find this value i'll lose this condition that is we have magnitude of a bar plus magnitude of b bar whole square is equals to we have magnitude of a bar whole square plus magnitude of b bar whole square plus 2 of a bar dot b bar again that is equals to say as given the value of magnitude of a bar plus b bar that is 24 so 24 whole square is equals to we have magnitude of a bar 19 that is 19 whole square 19 whole square plus magnitude of b bar we have 13 whole square 13 whole square plus 2 of a bar dot b bar a bar dot b bar now again simplification we have so 24 whole square we have 576 is equals to 9 so 19 whole square we have 361 again plus 13 whole square we have 169 plus 2 of a bar dot b bar a bar dot b bar again so that is 576 is equal to we have 361 plus 169 we have 530 so 530 plus 2 of a bar dot b bar a bar dot b bar again so bring this 530 to lhs therefore 576 minus 530 is equals to we have 2 of a bar dot b bar a bar dot b bar again 576 minus 530 we have 46 that is 46 is equal to 2 of a bar dot b bar so now we have the value of 2 of a bar dot b bar substituting this value here again so that is equals to we have again magnitude of a bar whole square that is a 19 whole square we have 361 so 361 again plus magnitude of b bar whole square that is 13 whole square we have 169 minus we have 46 okay again so mine 361 plus 169 we have 530 so 530 minus we have 46 minus 46 okay so 530 minus 46 we have 484 484 okay so this is what a magnitude of a bar minus b bar whole square but we need to find what a magnitude of a bar minus b bar that is equal to root 484 484 again that is equals to what is square root of 484 gives 22 so that is 22 okay next if a bar and b bar are unit vectors and magnitude of a bar plus b bar is equal to 1 come find Minded of A bar minus B bar. Similar question. He has given that A bar and B bar are unit vectors. For A bar and B bar to be unit vectors, their magnitude must be equal to what? 1. Therefore, given magnitude of A bar is equal to 1. Magnitude of B bar is equal to again 1. And as again given, magnitude of A bar plus B bar is equal to 1. So, therefore, magnitude of A bar plus B bar, B bar whole square is equal to formula. That is magnitude of A bar whole square plus magnitude of B bar whole square plus 2 of A bar dot B bar, A bar dot 
v bar again we have this value that is 1 1 whole square we have 1 is equal to again mind of b a bar 1 1 whole square 1 plus 1 whole square 1 plus 2 of a bar dot b bar a bar dot b bar again we have 1 is equals to 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 2 of a bar dot b bar again bring this to 2 lhs 1 minus 2 we have minus 1 is equals to 2 of a bar dot b bar a bar dot b bar but we need to find that is minus of a bar minus b bar again whole square is equals to minus of a bar whole square plus minus of b bar whole square minus 2 of a bar dot b bar again so again that is equal to we have minus of a bar 1 whole square 1 plus 1 whole square 1 we have minus so what is the value of a bar dot 2 of a bar b bar we have minus 1 sir so minus into minus becomes plus 1 again that is equal to 3 ok therefore minus of a bar minus b bar is equal to root 3 root 3 next if a bar comma b bar and c bar are unit vectors such that a bar plus b bar plus c bar is equal to 0 bar then find the value of a bar dot b bar plus b bar dot c bar plus c bar dot a bar he has given that a bar b bar and c bar are unit vectors means magnitude of a bar is equal to 1 magnitude of b bar is equal to 1 and magnitude of c bar is equal to 1 again he has given that a bar plus b bar plus c bar is equal to 0 bar ok therefore we have a, so that is a, magnitude of a bar plus b bar plus c bar is equal to 0 bar 0 bar ok now squaring on both side ok therefore we have magnitude of a bar plus b bar plus c bar whole square is equal to uh, 0 bar whole square again we have formula for this that is magnitude of a bar plus b bar plus c bar whole square is equal to magnitude of a bar whole square plus magnitude of b bar whole square plus magnitude of c bar whole square plus 2 of we have a bar dot b bar plus b bar dot c bar plus c bar dot a bar c bar dot a bar is equal to magnitude of 0 bar whole square we have again 0 itself again so we have what is value 1 1 square 1 plus 1 square 1 plus 1 square 1 again 2 of we have a bar dot b bar plus b bar dot c bar plus c bar dot a bar c bar dot a bar that is equals to we have 0 again what is 1 plus 1 plus 3 again bring the 3 to rhs therefore 2 of uh, a bar dot b bar plus b bar dot c bar plus c bar dot a bar is equal to minus 3 minus 3 therefore a bar dot b bar plus b bar dot c bar plus c bar dot a bar is equal to minus 3 divided by 2 minus 3 by 2 so this is the value of a bar dot b bar plus b bar dot c bar plus c bar dot a bar thank you children